every, at the, the very first slide out, and I will always be there. You know, I, I, you should never doubt that I don't know who elected me and who I owe my first responsibility, my first responsibility is the people who elected me. And, and the way I always put it, and I know I've got staff here and they feel the same way. When, when you make a vote and you say, I'm gonna vote for Kay, I've asked for the job. And so we owe to you every day the very best, the very best we can do. And all of my staff knows that. We're there and say, these are the people, and I always say it this way, they gave me a job and they put their confidence in me and, and so they owe my best for me. But the other thing that's most important is, is, is really keeping up with what's going on. And I do go back and forth you know, each, each week, but the things that are important to you, like healthcare, I pay attention to it all the time. The first chief of staff that I had, his name was Ken Melman, and um, he wasn't a Texan. He was from very northeast uh, part of the country, but he said, I've heard about Fort Worth. I said, well, let me tell you, buddy, you get, get rid of those shoes, you have to you know, be able to at least have a pair of boots, and you have to wear Brooks Brothers something else, and, and, uh, and I said, but they'll give you a chance, but you have to understand. And, and he did, in fact, so much that I said, okay, you're talking so slow now that I can't even keep up with what you're saying. <laughs> <laughs> but that's been, that's, that's what you deserve, and that's what I've done the entire time I'm in Congress. I have, I have now a, a, a responsibility that, that it's really, it's, it's a big responsibility, it's a big change. Uh, when I was when I was in my second term, the biggest the biggest um, um, position you can have is appropriations. We figure out how to fund the government, and so what, for instance, my, my opponent this time would say, "Well, she she votes to spend this money." Well, yeah, I write the bills, you know. So you do. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> And you know she doesn't. She doesn't understand what's happening at the border. I wrote that bill too, and there's no one. There's no one in Congress who's been given more attention to our southern border than I have. That's my job. But those are thank you. And and when we're talking about that. You know when I say when I when I came to Congress. The Texas Republicans are the largest delegation in the entire Congress. And so to be a part of that was very special. And when I came and I was elected, they said, okay, now you've been elected. Now, what do you want to do? The way they put it to me is, is what path do you want to run on? <laughs> and they asked that because, they said, in other words, you're elected but you just can't float around there. And I said, oh, it's very, one, some people say, well, I don't know, I just got here. And I said, I know exactly, because I come from Fort Worth, Texas, a fort with a base, and with Lockheed, Martin, and Bell Helicopter, and all, and, and I said, so I know exactly. I wanna spend every day making sure our nation's secure, and our military, military has the best weapons, and the best training in the world, in the world. And, thank you. and I've been able, and I've been able to do that. So they said, okay, that's what you want. This is what you get. And so I was put on a defense appropriations and end up chairing that. Um, but, but it's true. And so you owe the truth for me. And I, I say, protecting our border is part of our national security. You know, we need to know who's coming across our border, where they came from, what's their intention. And so I, I put so much time, in fact, uh, I went there last week with the Deputy Secretary of Defense who said, I understand you're very involved in this and I wanna go there and see what you're seeing. And so we took a, a day and went down there. Uh, it's the sixth trip I've taken because I keep saying, all right, are we doing enough? Are we doing it right? And that's what you elected me to do. And so I hope this, this 
day ends with, the, with my staying in that position. But the, the, the other part of it is to really understand what we're available and, and, and capable of and what you stand for. And because I've, you know, I grew up here, I, 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 uh, my mother was a teacher. She was in Greenville, Texas, and so that's where I was born. And when the semester was over, she and my dad moved back to Fort Worth. Five generations of my family have lived in Tarrant County. That's who we are. And so I have a very, thank you. So I don't think, I don't think you can just move in and say, okay, I just, I've never, Lift in this in this district, but I want to head this district, and just doesn't work that way. So, thank you. So I'm going to tell you that's where we are right now. It may take a long time, and I know you have lots of things to do. But thank you so much for being here. Thanks so much for your support, and I always depend on that. When I was asked to go on appropriations on my second term, I said, "My gosh, how did I do that?" And they said, "Because you for, come from a, a, a district." that understands and supports that, and you do. So I say I, I appreciate every, everything you've done for me. Uh, it's maybe a long night. I understand you have to go home or go someplace else that's more fun. But anyway, I want to tell you, I, I want to tell you, here's where you are right now, and thank you so much for what you've given to me. Take care.